Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today we're going to be doing a full review on my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So yeah, you guys, I was looking through my videos and when I posted my handbag collection of 2024, like one of my most recent videos, I discovered that I did not have a review for this bag yet. And I just don't know how I forgot to make a review on this bag. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna go through the ins and outs of this handbag, the pricing, the dimensions, all that good stuff. So I'm very excited. So let's start off with just the overall look of the bag. Let me take my little charm off because I do have this little charm that I got from Etsy on here because I think it's so cute. I just looked up bag charm gold hardware because I wanted to make sure I had gold hardware so it would match the bag because I feel like all little charms like this only have silver hardware. It's plastic. It's not metal. It's just like plastic painted hardware. But here is what the bag actually looks like. So of course we have the front. It's got the Louis Vuitton print and then we swap it around to the back and the pattern is upside down as you can see. That means that it is one full piece of leather so it's one and then it wraps around. So one and then wraps around so it's just one piece of leather for the front and then for the side we've got it like that. A little d-ring on that side and then a little d-ring on that side. No feet on the bottom or anything but we do have this really pretty leather trim all the way around and then of course we have this Viquetta pieces on either side here and then two in the front two in the back and then we have the beautiful little vaquetta handles that are already pre-treated so it already has that really pretty kind of honeyed color to them so you don't need to worry about them tanning evenly you don't have to worry about it getting water spots because it's already tan so even if it gets out in the rain unless it's like a ton of rain i don't feel like you're gonna have issues with water spots anymore so you do have this kind of red glossy i don't know what it is it's like a lining around right here now this is the 2021 version of the nano speedy so it is the newest version of the nano speedy because as you can probably tell the crossbody strap is detachable so it, of course, comes with a crossbody strap. Here she is. And she is also Vaquetta, but she's already pre-treated as well. So you don't, again, have to worry about watermarks or anything like that with the strap. She is, of course, adjustable as well, kind of like a belt buckle. And then she's got two little metal clasps on, or just one on either side. And then they just kind of go on and they're universal clasps. So no matter way, which way you put it on the bag, you could put it on upside down or the wrong way. That's always gonna go the right way around. And there's that. And then you can wear her crossbody or on the shoulder if you make it tighter. Like if you make the crossbody strap shorter, you can wear it on your shoulder. So that's a quick little overview of the bag. Oh, let me show you the inside. I might as well go ahead and do that while I'm here. Oh, here's the little pull tab. In case you haven't seen that, it's just this little pull tab like that. Very smooth zipper. Oh my god, I did not realize I had so much just random shit in here. Like just trash, like gum wrapper, just pieces of lint. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, here's what it looks like on the inside. It's just one big open hole. Hopefully you can even see that. Yeah, look at my just random whatever that is, like paper in there. I don't know. But yeah, and this one I have is, of course, made in France, made in Paris. So happy that I got one that was made in Paris. But okay, yeah, now let's go into dimensions. And then while we talk about dimensions, we can also go into pricing as well, because I do have to go to the Louis Vuitton website. So the Nano Speedy is currently $1,760. I don't know if that's what I paid for it, because I don't know if it's had a price increase or not. Let me see if I can go... Oh, I should be able just to log in to my account and see how much I paid for it to see if it's had a price increase. I wouldn't be surprised if it's had a price increase, to be honest. Okay, so I paid $1,931. That was taxes and shipping and everything. 
download the invoice. Okay, yeah, it has not had a price increase. So it is $1,760. My sales tax was $171.60. So that was a total of $1,931.60 for the Nano Speedy. So I'm actually really glad that it hasn't had a price increase because you know Louis Vuitton, they love a good price increase. So this one has not had one of those and it's currently available. Like I know that last year when I got this, I got this in like March or April of last year and it was impossible to get your hands on. It was so hard to find and I just happened to be just lucky and refreshed the Louis Vuitton page because I had like the tab open and I just happened to refresh and it was available and I lost my mind. <laughs> Going on to the dimensions here. This bag is 6.3 inches in length. It is 3.9 inches in height, so nearly four inches. And then it's three inches in depth. And then for the strap here, a minimum strap drop of 17.9 inches and then a max strap drop of 23.2 inches. That's the longest it can go. So now we've gone over all the dimensions and like the overview of the bag, pricing and all that good stuff. I wanna go over like wearability of this bag. How practical is it? What does it go with? When should you wear it? All that good stuff. So starting off with the prac... <laughs> I always struggle with this word. Didn't I just say it? How practical it is? Practicability. Is that even a word? how practical the bag is. So this bag is pretty small. So when you look at this bag, you're definitely going to be thinking, oh my God, how am I gonna fit anything in there? It's tiny. I will tell you right now, looks are definitely deceiving with this bag. This bag fits so much stuff. It's insane. I think it fits so much stuff because of the shape that it actually is. Because it's like this duffel bag, it is a speedy. Like it's still a speedy. You know, the speedy 20, the speedy 30, you know, it's that type of bag. But it's just the smallest size that the speedy comes in. But it still is that duffel bag shape. So it's quite wide and it's, it's deep as well. So you can fit bigger, bulkier items in here that you wouldn't expect that you'd be able to fit just because of the shape of the bag. It's kind of like a barrel. <laughs> So I honestly never have any issues getting my stuff in here. Now, if you carry like a lot, then of course this isn't, this isn't gonna be for you. I do have an issue fitting longer pieces in here. If it's too long, then of course it won't fit, but you can fit like thicker pieces, like the Chanel hand cream, you know, that's that really big looking egg thing. You can fit that in here, no problem. But I do have an issue with longer things. So things like your phone, things like sunglasses, too long of a pin won't fit in here. <laughs> but I honestly haven't had any issues with fitting my daily essentials. You can technically fit a mini pochette accessoire in here, but I never try to shove my mini pochette accessoire in here because I don't want to like mess it up in any way. And it really takes away 95% of the room in the bag if you put that catch-all in here. So I just never worry about that, but technically you can fit it if you really wanted to. But I can fit my wallet, my AirPods, my hand cream, gum, a mirror, keys, like really anything that I need to take with me, my daily essentials, I've never had an issue going inside this bag. I have other bags from Louis Vuitton that are bigger than this bag. Case in point, my Pochette Matisse East West is technically bigger than this bag, but this bag fits more stuff. It's just wild. That's on for like the capacity and the practicality of this bag. I do also think it's practical because you can wear a top handle, of course. You can wear a crossbody, you can wear it on your shoulder. Very practical in the sense of the ways that you can wear it. And then when it comes to like what kind of style can go with this bag? Honestly, I think any style. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. I really think this is more on the lines of a casual bag, because I think this could be literally every single day. Handbag, no problem, go to the grocery store, go to your appointment, go run your errands, go to the mall, go to lunch. Absolutely, no problem. I do think that it is more of an every like a day bag than a nighttime bag. You can, of course, dress this up and carry a top handle as like a little mini bag at night if you're going out to dinner or something, but because it's monogram and just because it's very like, I guess playful and just the way it is, I do think that it is better for 
just casual wear, if that makes any sense. Maybe I'm just wrong. And if you want to wear this to dinner or to like a more fancy event, I think go for it. You do you. If you got the leather one, they do have this in like an emprunt leather, I think. 1 million percent. I think it depends on the color you get. This one, because it's canvas, really reminds me of just like a very cutesy, everyday, very fun and carefree kind of bag. But the leather one, the black leather or even like the dove kind of gray leather, I think would pair very well with more evening wear. Like again, a dinner, an event or something. That absolutely. Let's talk about durability. I have not had any issues with this bag. I've had it for almost a year. It'll be a couple, it's like not even a week, like maybe a week until March. We're already in March. Almost, I just, that's insane. <laughs> but I've had it for almost a year and there has been literally no quality issues, no issues with the canvas. And I do not baby this bag at all. Like this, the canvas, it's pretty indestructible. Like it's very, very hard wearing. You're not gonna have any issues with it already having the tanned vaquetta. You don't have to worry about water spots. You just take it out. <laughs> I wouldn't take it out in like the pouring rain, but if it gets rained on, it's no big deal. And of course, if the canvas gets rained on, it's no big deal because you can just wipe it off. This bag has been a dream to carry. You guys know if you've been on this page for literally any length of time, you've heard me talk about this bag and you guys are probably sick of it because I love this bag. I adore and I'm, I'm obsessed with this bag. It is hands down in my top five, probably even top three favorite handbags that I have in my collection. I am just enamored with this handbag and I love it. So yeah, that's if you were just here to know if I liked it, yes, I should have said that in the beginning, but here we are. <laughs> no issues with quality. It's been fantastic. No issues with the stitching coming undone or fraying or having a popped stitch or anything like that. No issues with the leather getting damaged. I keep saying leather, canvas getting damaged. She's been a dream. What else can I talk about? I don't really know. I think that's pretty much it. I just overall love this bag. I'm really glad that it hasn't had a price increase. I think it's very versatile. I think you can wear it literally every single day. I think this is a great handbag. If you're somebody that carries an absolute ton of stuff, probably not for you, but if you're somebody that likes a good mini bag, mini bag, it still carries a lot. But if you're somebody that likes a good smaller handbag, this would definitely be for you. I would highly recommend it, but that's pretty much all I have to say regarding this bag because I just love it so much. And I could just talk its praises forever and ever and you'll never hear the end of it from me let me put her little her little charm back on so cute i love this little charm anyways that has been my full review of the louis vuitton nano speedy 2021 edition let me know in the comments if you also have this bag or if you have this bag on your wish list if you like it if you dislike it just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because i'm nosy and i want to know that but you guys thank you so much for watching this video today i really hope that you did enjoy it if you did then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time i upload and you guys i'll see you in the next video bye